Good afternoon, Richard Catman here at Fountain Street Fine Art Gallery in Framingham, Massachusetts at 59 Fountain Street. This is a collection of recent paintings that I've completed and before the gallery opens I'd like to give you a private tour. This painting is titled Red Landscape. It's a uh, painting, an abstract painting, acrylic on canvas that is uh, seven feet by seven feet. My wife and I, Barbara, uh, rented a cottage in Little Compton, Rhode Island, facing the uh, round pond and <coughs> a barrier beach and the Atlantic Ocean. And this canvas is a direct representation of that landscape. These are some of the marks looking at this painting. Many of the colors are uh, in the range of cobalt blue, permanent green, cadmium yellow, burnt umber and black, ultramarine blue, cadmium red. This series of paintings uh, all these paintings are 30 inches by 72 inches. They were painted vertically, uh, specifically for this wall. And they uh, are perhaps influenced by Morris Lewis. Uh, the idea being from the second canvas going to my right, uh, the canvases are based on the primary and secondary colors, red, yellow, blue, orange, green, and violet. Uh, the uh, painting to my left is influenced by Native American blankets. Navajo women uh, used uh, stripes in their paintings that were basically ultramarine, blue, and perhaps a creamy white. Uh, in the very first series of blankets that were made by Navajo women. This painting is a, uh, a response to those blankets that were made uh, because they were made in the landscape, facing the landscape, and were became abstract representations. There is a uh, boxing studio next door, so you'll hear lots of box boxing activity going on and some uh, screams for the next door neighbors. This painting is titled Red, Yellow, Green. It was made with uh, acrylic on canvas. Uh, the line work was done with a uh, level in the studio. These were painted horizontally on a small table. The canvas was stretched to that table and I painted looking down on the canvases but then hung them vertically. This painting is titled Earth Sciences. Uh, to me, it represented the uh, earth and its soils in the range of uh, yellow ochre, burnt umber, red, white, uh, perhaps a bit of yellow ochre. This painting is titled Liftoff. It's in the range of uh, Red, red, yellow, blue, orange, green, and some violet, light violet. But perhaps basically uh, in the blue-green range with a red vertical stripe and some uh, concentration of white to the upper right. This painting next is uh, titled Sky View. When a landscape architect works either on computer or at the drafting board, the plan that he makes or prepares is always viewed from above. So many of the paintings that I've done over many, many years that I've been practicing somehow take on that aspect of looking down perhaps from an airplane from a view of about 30,000 feet. Uh, this is in the range of orange and cobalt blue with some yellow, some crimson red, and again some blacks and greens. This painting is titled Farmland, Ohio Farmland. To me, it's a uh, memory of my grandfather's farm in Ohio 
he had a hundred acre farm with a wonderful white barn with a silo and this painting represents that memory Last in the series of vertical paintings is uh, Violet Blue. Moving on, this painting is titled Butterfingers. And I was reading uh, the words of Richard Tevencorn, a California painter, California abstract uh, impressionist, I would suppose you could call him. But he was discussing using the center as a blank and concentrating on the corners to expand your cat canvas outward. Well, I was quite intrigued with that idea, and this painting is a result of that. Um, the abstract marks uh, that I quite often use from painting and figure drawing class set the painting in motion in terms of its uh, marks. I'm also intrigued with the idea of motion in the painting. Uh, also, I'd like to go back just for a second um, to talk about these uh, verticals. One of the ideas that I've been working with continually is that paint is paint, and when you're painting on canvas, quite often it's just about paint. It's not about doing an abstract work or a landscape. It's really working with paint for paint. Uh, quite often you're surprised by what happens when you're working with it. Um, in many instances, things, things happen that you would have no idea would take place. Happy accidents. Next, this painting is uh, titled My Rose Period, China. Brian Goslow, who wrote an article about me in Artscope magazine, uh, saw this painting and said I can, should call it China, but I had thought of it as my rose, my rose period, based on Picasso's paintings of Fernand, his uh, first love. Uh, it was a beautiful nude painting that he had done. I wanted to see if I could do an abstract painting suggesting that nude without using the actual nude, but using the color ranges and slight subtle marks and changes in the uh, pinks and rose uh, that I used in the preparation of the painting. Now we'll step over to the eastern wall of the gallery. I'll do a quick scan of the gallery and then return to a painting called Map. Map is a painting that is six feet square. It's done in olive green ranges with many reds, crimson reds, burn umber, uh, ultramarine blue, and some violet mixed uh, with many abstract marks, but to me representing a landscape map perhaps, or a map that you would use uh, when you're driving to Connecticut. One of the friends that I made in Little Compton who was an elderly gentleman architect used to walk by the uh, area where I painted outside, I stretched a canvas between two trees. It was a seven foot by seven foot canvas. And he would always come by and say, your paintings to me look like maps. So this is a fond memory of that gentleman. This painting is one of three in the gallery in the range of five feet by five feet. It's titled Little Compton. My wife and I rented a cottage in Little Compton, Rhode Island on Round Pond overlooking a barrier beach and the Atlantic Ocean. This painting is one of a series that I've done from memory. Um, in the last couple of years, we haven't rented, rented the cottage, so I've had a, a longing to be in Little Compton, but I've taken it out on paint and canvas. <laughs> this painting is titled The Garden of Eden. It's quite difficult to uh, see the color ranges when I move in close because the lights burn out the colors, but you can see again here I'm working with the corners and to the lower left is sort of a, an opening in the sky. Um, the title just popped into my mind. It does have some 
crimson marks that swirl around and give the painting movement. But it also has that escape hatch that the um, oriental weavers use in their rugs where evil can escape from the work. The next painting is titled Gold Mine. I had several different ideas in mind with this painting. One is the political aspect of men, women, and children working in Africa and in Peru mining gold at little or no income, uh, starving basically to survive while brokers on Wall Street make millions and millions of dollars investing and in selling in, uh, gold. But also the idea that with paint uh, using gold colors, perhaps relating back to de Kooning, I could perhaps paint some gold or make some gold with my paintings in the grander scheme of things, perhaps. <laughs> Next, we're moving on to a painting called Peaches. This is a smaller painting, atypical in my work. Usually I don't work small. This is a canvas that's three feet by three feet. It's uh, in the same vernacular as the other paintings I've showed you, uh, with, again, some um, marks to give it movement in the range of figure drawing and figure painting marks, um, and the flesh tones in the whites, peach, pink, blues, greens. The next painting is titled Sunspot. I, again, it's difficult to move in because of the lighting in the uh, in the gallery, um, but that gives you a basic idea of that painting. And last but not least, this is a painting titled uh, Red, Peach, Black. It's six feet six by seven feet six, quite large acrylic on canvas, and it's fairly typical of the works that I've done for a number of years with an abstract ground in either yellow or yellow ochre or peach, pink or red, uh, with many abstract marks giving it movement. Perhaps it's a broken up figure. Uh, perhaps it's just abstract and perhaps it's just paint on canvas. These are some of the uh, color ranges and marks that are on the canvas. I appreciate your viewing the uh, paintings with me. Thank you and have a fine afternoon.